Hi, this is Mr. Petito, and today we're going to show you how to colorize an image that's found within a Google Doc. So the first thing you have to do is grab your Google Doc, go ahead and open it up. And we're going to use a couple of different platforms today to show you how to do this. The first one is Apple's built-in markup tool. So all you have to do is come over here to the triple dots, go to share and export, and then send a copy. We'll choose a PDF, hit OK. And then from here, we can use Apple's built-up markup. So I'm going to select markup, and it brings up the markup tools. And then from here, I can use the pen tool, the highlighter tool. I can change my thickness, change my color. I can zoom in and begin coloring. Okay, when I'm finished, I can come over here to the share menu. and save it to my files, and it will save this as a PDF. If I want some more sophisticated drawing tools, instead of a PDF, I'll need to save this as an image. So same thing, I'm gonna come over here to my Google Doc, and if I long press on this image, you see I can kind of drag it around. So from here, I can drag it around to a different app. Um, I can drag this to my Photos app and save it as an image. I can drag this to another drawing app and save it as an image. I'll show you how to do both. So I'm going to come over here to Photos. Here's my Google Doc. Take it, drag it. With my thumb, open up my Doc again. Open the Photos app. And I can drag and drop this right into my Photos app. If I have another app, for example, Paper, which is one of the drawing apps found in self-service, I can open up paper, open up my journal, create a new page, tap to open up that page, go to my doc, go to that Google doc, and again, I can long press and then start moving it around with my thumb, open up paper, and drag and drop it right in. Tap to confirm. And now I have some more sophisticated drawing tools. Here I can use pinch zoom to really zoom in on the image. And I can use my paintbrush tool and find what colors I'd like. I can choose red. And in my mixing tool in the bottom right hand corner, I can make it red. Then if I choose my second color, I can begin mixing this. And you'll see it becomes more and more and more pink. If I go the opposite direction, it goes more and more and more red. So I can fine tune what color I'd like. Right? So then again, from here, I can use my paintbrush tool, and I can begin watercoloring my dragon. I can pick a different shade of red. And so forth. OK, when I'm finished with this, I'll hit the X to exit. And then from here at the bottom, I can hit the Share button and share it by saving it as an image or just mailing it directly. I can go to Google Drive, share it there as well. Okay, there are a variety of apps you could use. You could also use um, the Sketches School app. Works the same way. So here at the top, I can hit the triple dots, and I can uh, import an image from my photo library. Grab that image. And then from here, I can zoom in, and I can use the tools here. Check mark at the bottom. And now I have all of these fun tools I can use to color this image. Okay, again, when I'm done, I just pinch. And then from here, I can share. Again, I can save it as an image. I can just mail it, Google Drive, and so forth. All right, so there's lots of ways to take an image from Google Drive and colorize it and then share it with somebody else. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at robert.petito at woodward.edu. And as always, thanks for watching.